Sephora, you've done it again. Basically, Sephora releases new trends based off the season. So this season, they have released metallic shades, smudge and smolder, and intense lashes. I have incorporated all three of those into this makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm gonna start with the Locket Featherweight Primer from Kat Von D. I am now going in with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I am in the shade Light 44 Cool. Taking my Morphe M439 brush and I'm just buffing this into the skin. Obviously. What else am I gonna do with it? Taking what's left on that foundation brush, I'm just running this over my eyelids to prep for eyeshadow. This foundation you can use very easily as an eyeshadow primer because it is so full coverage and it's so long wearing. It's actually awesome to use as an eye primer. I'm now going in with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I'm in the shade L5 Neutral. I'm just taking my damp beauty blender. I'm just going to be Setting the under eye, we're doing a little baking. The baking I know how to do. While the under eye is baking, we'll just leave that sitting there. We're gonna finish off the rest of the face with the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I'm using my NARS Eat a Brush to do this. I went ahead and finished my brows using the NYX Micro Brow and some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I am going to leave some of this powder underneath my eyes in case we have any fallout with this palette. I am going to start off with the shade Dark Star, which is this kind of metallic-y um, gunmetal color. And I'm gonna be putting this all over the lid. Now what we're gonna do is take this really gorgeous silver shade in the color Dios, and we're gonna take that on the same brush and pop it right into the center of the lid. Now we're gonna go in with this awesome shade here and this one here. This is in the color Vast, and this other one is Astrological. We're gonna pick up Astrological first and start working that right into my crease. And I'm sorry, I'm using the Morphe E17. This is gonna be our transition shade, and it's also gonna clean up a little bit of that darker shadow that we laid on first. I like to do this with my eye open so that I can really make sure that I'm getting just the right shape going on. Once you have that laid down, now you're going to go in with Vast. And I'm taking an, just an Urban Decay brush from a Naked palette. This is what's going to buff out this color. So we're going to kind of put this right on top of it, but also kind of move it around a little bit so that it's a little bit more gradient and not such a harsh line. You don't want harsh lines. I'm now going to take my Morphe M438 brush and I'm just going to dust away that powder that we laid down. For lashes, I'm going to be taking my MAC 35s and I'm just putting a little bit of the Velour Lash Adhesive on them. Once the lashes are on, the look is starting to come together. We're now going to go in with blush and I am using Mickey and Mallory. Now I'm gonna go in with MAC Eye Coal in the shade Feline and just put this in the waterline. Now taking the same shade that we went in with first and a little um, eyeliner brush, I'm just going to run this on the lower lash line. Now to finish everything off, I'm taking two Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. One is in the shade Requiem and one is in the shade Bow and Arrow and I'm gonna be mixing the two on my lips. Mm. 
Now we're going in with Requiem.